Well, it's another day with the Depths 250 slide swimmer. My name's Butch Brown, and I fish this bait, and I'm kicking some serious butt. You see that sucker? That catches big, giant bass. So we can start? Yeah. Cool. So how did you first discover the Depths 250 slide swimmer? The first 250? The first Depth slide swimmer? Actually fishing my lake, Kist Lower Kistaic, I had met a Japanese guy named Yaso. He was a Depths sweat member, which I didn't know what Depths was. I didn't know anything about it. One day he was a, he was a float tuber and it was blowing windy. He couldn't go out. And I said, hey, you wanna go kick the crap out of him on, uh, on, a, sw on a spinnerbait? Because it was a good bite, it was in the fall. And he loved it and he came out with me and we caught a lot of fish, he had a ball. And he was throwing a depth spinner bait, you know, expensive spinner spinner bait. He next time he came to the lake, he gave me a gift. It was a depth 175. You know, said thank you and everything. And I said to myself, you know, I'm not throwing that bait. I go, ah, what the heck is this? So I put it in my box. It was small. You know, it's, it's a small bait. And I, I was in the big baits. I told him if they make a bigger one someday that I would fish it. Later on that year, I think that the Depths web members, their time for their baits to buy is, is in October or August, end of that month. You got 30 days, I think, to order some baits that are coming out. And he says, the Depths 250 is uh, gonna come out. And I asked him what that was, and he goes, it's big. He couldn't speak good English, but he goes, it's big. And I go, they got a carp color? They got a trout color? He goes, they got, they got he goes, yeah, they got Jap Japan trout, they got carp, a biwa, and kata. And I'm like, what are those? The trout, it just looked like trout. Well, the trout was a neon colored trout. It wasn't like our trout. Japanese version, a little more flamboyant, I guess you could say. The biwa looked good. He showed me pictures of everything and he had the carp. And the kata was just not for me. So I said, he goes, he goes, you want one? And I said, yeah. I go, how much are they? And he says, they're $70 a piece. And I'm like, well, I'll take, I'll take 10 of them, 10 carp. And he looks at me and he goes, 10, 10, oh, okay, you know? So he orders them. About three months later, he goes, I got your baits. And he's got them in a baggie from the grocery store. And I look in there and I pull them out and I go, wow, that's, that's pretty cool. The next day I uh, went fishing and it was in the summertime. <clears throat> started fishing the bait and started getting big fish to come up. Fish that weren't, that I'd never seen before. Fish that in the summertime was the missing link to catching fish all year that were double digit. Then I started hooking them and losing them. And I kept trying different kind of hooks, the triple grip, the stock hooks, the, the owner hooks. You know, I didn't like the owner hooks because on the, the, tr the trouble hook itself, it's offset. It's not, doesn't lay under the bait, the two hooks. It's either gonna be off or it's gonna be, you know, one with the gummy or the two is how you want it to sit under there. So I had lost about three or four fish in one day that were all about 10 pounds and up. And I finally switched over to the bait that used to come on the Castaic hard bait, the Chubby Cheek, which is this bait right here. And it was a uh, uh, Gamagasu bronze round bend hook, two watt, biggest they make, needle sharp. Put that on there and it stuck to the side of the bait here and there on the cast, but you know, it's part of fishing, you know, it's just part of the deal, you know, so what, that cast is screwed up, you got another cast, look how many casts you make, you don't catch a fish, so it didn't bother me, you know, but finally I get the bite, I get the fish next to the boat, actually he eats it right at the boat, and he's, he's just digging, and it's, it's right away, and the hook bends, and I'm like, son of a gun, but I only had that much line, so... I just kept fishing that hook, and by the end of the day, I had five fish. I had two over 12, one over eight, and then the rest were the smaller fish. And I'm like, God dang, man, this is crazy. This is like having a hood for the first time, you know, and no one's got it. So then I started fishing the bait that first year, 
and never saw anything come up on the internet, on eBay or anything. And I met a friend whose name is Fumio. Him and me got, got to be good friends with Yasuo. And I asked him, I said, well, where can I get more of these? And he says, we well, have to go on, uh, be a depths member and you're only allowed, you only get them once a year or Japanese eBay, not American eBay, unless they want to put one on there. But I never saw them. And then every once in a while, he, he, he had a sister that had a Japanese website, so he, she, he had her buy them for me, and he got some for himself. And we were just kicking the crap out of the fish. Just amazing fishing. I mean, it's like, keep this thing quiet, don't say a frickin' word, camera's rolling, things are happening. Then, as time went on, I'd see, like a, maybe a year later, maybe not even that far, somebody would make a post on Swimbait Nation at the time, say, what do you guys think of this bait? And they'd have a picture of the 175. Well, I'd keep track of it to make sure that it didn't get out of hand and people would say anything like, you gotta have it, you gotta have it. Then I realized that it was completely off the radar, you know, completely, 100% off the radar for the American guys, there may, I think there was one guy up north that was throwing the 175, he kept it quiet too, but uh, it was completely off the radar. The first year I had the bait, I had between combination of a Huddleston and the 170, or the 250, I had my second year where I broke 100 fish over 10 pounds in one year. I had 107, and I, it took me the, the whole year to do it, and the first time was I had 128, and that was in Bassmaster. And that was primarily on the HUD and some of the other baits. And that was in nine months time, so you could tell what the fishing was like. Um, but my average year for like the last 20 years of throwing swim baits, I'd average 40 fish to 80 fish a year over 10 pounds where I was fishing. And there was no reason to leave fish to find fish. I had the I had the nugget here right below my house. So I kept fishing the bait and I kept putting the videos and I just would, would lock them and put them in that, that cabinet right over there. Where, you know, there's between that cabinet and one in the house, there's probably 400 fish on video, plus even more now on the depths 250. You know, that's not even counting my, my HUD fish I've caught over the years because I got to estimate between my years of fishing and everything, I've got at least 1,500 plus fish, or maybe even close to 16, over 10 pounds, and a lot of teeners. I mean, a lot of teeners, you know? And the biggest fish ever caught on video live, you know, was the 19.3, and that was on the HUD. But I could go to any lake I wanted to, Paris, I could go to Diamond Valley, I can go to any lake at any time, and I knew I was gonna catch a 10 pound bass, because it was like a locator these fish had never seen the bait before. You know, it had a completely different action. It's a glide bait. It's, it's like what you imagine when you're a young kid. You know, when I was a young kid, like, here's this Rapala. But boy, I bet it would be good if it could swim like that without a bill. You know, because a bill is, looks like a bill, you know. Well, they figured it out, you know. And... Anyways, I kept them off the market for as long as I could. Anything that popped up on eBay after that, and they were about 60 to 70 bucks. I snapped every one of them up, no matter what color it is. And I did that video of uh, how I started with the depths baits and lined all the baits up that I had stockpiled. My name's Butch Brown. I fish big bass here in the United States and California. And I just want you to know that I think you make one of the best big bass swim baits that's ever been around. I think it's the future. No one down here is really fishing them. I'm keeping it pretty quiet, but I think it's time to let the cat out of the bag. As you can see, I buy every one that I come across. I've got connections in Japan on uh, Japan Yahoo auction. I have, uh, every time I see one on eBay, I buy it. I've got my little stockpile here, but my favorite color of all is this one up here, and it's the Flash Carp. You're coming out with it this year, 2011, wintertime, and I happen to think that that's the, one of the best baits made.
Anyways, I've made some big bass catches on this bait, and I've put this on video for you guys to see, and maybe uh, someday we can show this to people, and they'll get an idea of what's going on with this bait.